I'm here today to really pass on the, the word um, and share what Heels Angels is all about um, and to see if we can learn about funding but also to share our experiences with, with the funders. Um, I think it's a really important event, a good opportunity for organisations to network, get to know each other, um, find out about the kind of support and advice that's available locally and across the region uh, and obviously from Southwest Forum as well. Um, we contributed towards the cost of the conference through a small grant, so uh, we're really pleased to be here today to be able to support it as well. What we are about here is helping Devon's community and voluntary organisations work together. I think it's very important for people to get together, to have a chat, to network with each other, find out what's new, what's going on in the sector. Um, I think you know the not-for-private profit sector is so important to the fabric of society, particularly at the moment, um, and we feel it's really important that, that those people um, who do such a fantastic job are well skilled and that they have all the training that they need to, to do their work to the best of their ability. Why is it important? I think it's important because a lot of charities haven't really got unbiased advice and I think that's one thing that we can offer. Um, we can scale a solution to be as complicated, simple, large or small as people need. Um, and I don't think there's too many other printers out there that can really offer that kind of diversity. My name is Jonathan Farnhill and I'm Chief Executive of the Deaf Academy in Exeter, uh, which is a charity which has been around for nearly a couple of hundred years. Um, conferences like this are really important because they enable uh, people to be encouraged to take time out and to reflect on why they're doing what they're doing um, and also to come up with new ideas. My real message for uh, people here today is uh, to think differently, to have the courage to think differently, to imagine doing and achieving what you want to achieve but in a different way, being open to that and being responsive to the way that the world is changing uh, and creating new ideas and projects which enable you to thrive in a more challenging environment. Um, the reason we're here today is to meet as many local groups as possible to understand what they're doing and that obviously helps us inform what we should be giving money to and what's important and what are some of the issues. Um, the reason it's important for us to be here is that the way that we raise the money is that we talk to individual local donors and organisations who want to give locally. So what we are is the philanthropic advisor or a philanthropic hub for Devon and it's very very important that we understand the need so that we can articulate that to donors and take them on a journey of understanding what needs to be done locally. So I spoke to lots of people today um, who I've not met before, which is really brilliant, because we're looking at particularly targeting this area for grants for children in need. So it's important for us today to hopefully come away with gaining knowledge of local area, gaining knowledge of local groups, and also um, hopefully to transcend that into applications, which would be brilliant. Because the magic of a day like this really is, is all about the networking and you can help people in so many different ways. Um, we're very grateful that we've been able to be part of this event and we look forward to keeping in touch with people that we've spoken to today, but perhaps anyone who we might be able to connect with in a way that benefits them and maybe offer them some of our help in the future. In terms of the future, we're really excited about working with new strategic partners that we've just met. Um, we're really interested to support some of the investors and funders here today and help them get some really extraordinary work going in uh, some difficult to reach places and we're really interested in doing some development and training with some of the local organisations who are looking to do uh, even more effective work with children and young people. So it's really important for days like this for people to come together and, uh, and spend time together and to hopefully work together in the future uh, for, for the greater good.